here. I'm Father Ken Lau, and I would like to welcome you to the series called Lockdown Boot Camp Series. If you're joining me for the first time, I would like you to watch the first two videos that I've made. The first one is called uh, Intro, the Power of Perception. You need to have the right perspective in this lockdown. The second video that I made is the episode one, Power of Vision. You need to have a vision of your life uh, so that you would know why you need to do things. And uh, so in this episode, we're going to talk about the how. Okay, so hopefully you're able to uh, do your assignment that you have to do. And it should be in the context of you want to go to heaven and you want to become a saint. Because if not, then, um, you know, all, all these things that you're doing is irrelevant. You know, and, and you don't want to be remembered as somebody who amassed so much fortune and yet you left everything behind. Okay? You want to be remembered as somebody who loved. Okay? Because at the end, you know, uh, we will be judged by, by, by our love. Um, if you want also to watch the video that I've made uh, called um, Overcoming the Fear of Death, it talks about the three essential things that you need to, to do, three essential things that you could put into your carry-on baggage uh, so that you, and, and you will be able to bring that to heaven. So, Last episode, we talked about the vision. The vision is the destination. So it's a place that we, where you want to go, okay? And, it's, uh, and today, we're going to talk about the how. You know, how are you able to go there to your, to your, to your destination? And uh, we need to come up with virtues. V virtues, um, character, positive attributes, those are the things that you need to have in order to uh, arrive at your destination, which is your vision. Okay, so I would like just like to give you an example. Uh, so I did this exercise, uh, and um, I came up with uh, uh, attributes that I need to work on for the rest of my life. And uh, I, uh, and by, by that I came up with with five t attributes that, that I need to work on. And I want to be remembered as a five H priest. And uh, what, what, what's the five H priest? So. The first age is that I want to be remembered as a happy priest, okay? And uh, I want to live out Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 7, where it talks about the joy of the Lord is my strength. In whatever circumstances that I'm into, uh, I want to have that joy. And people, pe I hope people would see that. The second age is I want to be a healthy priest, okay? I, if I want to serve you well, I need to be healthy in, in mentally, emotionally, physically, okay? And uh, I remember Father Mark, um, he, re he recommended me this book. He said, Ken, Ken, you need to read this book. Uh, and when you read this book, it will really motivate you to become healthy. So the title of the book is uh, Younger Next Year. And you know what's the subtitle of that book? The subtitle of that book is that live strong, fit, and sexy until you are 80 and beyond. So here at St. Mary's, the parishioners here, uh, they know why they have two sexy priests in this parish, okay? So the third age is that I want to be remembered as a holy priest. Now, uh, that's my desire, but I also know that I'm a great sinner. Now, I don't know how God will perform that miracle of changing, uh, of, of making a, a great sinner to be holy. But one thing I do know is that nothing is impossible with the Lord. So um, I know I could grow in holiness, but I know also that I'm a big work improvement in that uh, area. The fourth age is that I want to be remembered as a humble priest. Okay, uh, I know uh, big room, room for improvement for that because I struggle with, with pride. And the last age, the fifth age, is that I want to be remembered as a hungry, hungry priest. And when I said that to my parishioner here at St. Mary's, they all laughed because they know I like to eat food, okay? And, uh, but I told them it's not about food. You know? I, I, I'm hungry for the love of God and the salvation of souls. So those are my five H, you know, easy to remember. And people were teasing me, Father, you could add two more H. You know, the, the, the sixth H could be you're hilarious. And the seventh H is that you're handsome. They, they like to tease me because that's, they know that's the meaning of my name. So I want you to come up with uh, attributes that are easy to remember. You could use the acronyms of your, of your name and then come up with positive 
attributes. And um, so uh, in the next three episodes, we'll be talking about the what. You know, we, we discussed already the, 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 the why when you came up with the vision. Um, in this episode, we talk about the how to be able to arrive uh, and fulfill that vision of yours by having those virtues in your life. And then the next three episodes, we'll be discussing about the what. So if you find this helpful, kindly subscribe so that you will be notified of the next episode and kindly share this with your family and friends who would benefit from this video. Be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you. Thank you.